Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you saw the previous video, you would know that I went ahead and did a test between a salon product versus a drugstore product. And that was these two products right here. It's the Design Me Family Leave-In Treatment. This is the salon product. And the, one second, cause this title is really long. Uh, Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine 10 in 1 Plus Plant Keratin Multitasking Leave-In. And I'm gonna add the word spray, cause it is a spray. So I went ahead and I tried these two products out on my doll head back here because they seem to be nearly the same exact product. So which one's better, the salon product or the drugstore product? Now I bought this drugstore product, I think it was about $9.98 at Target. This one you can only get at Salon Centric for half price if you are a professional. Uh, you can find this on Amazon for the full price I think it's about $26. All their products seem to range about $26 or so. So yeah, big difference when it comes to the price range. But um, so I went ahead and I did this side as Garnier Fructis and this side as the family leave-in treatment. So while I was detangling her hair, I went ahead and I wrote some notes in my mermaid hair don't care notebook. How fitting. And uh, yeah, I took some notes down. And uh, you know, overall, I feel like the products basically, I mean, not only do they do the same thing, but they seem to perform the exact same. I will start off with that, but it depends on each stage. So let's take it step by step here. So you just finished washing your hair and you know you need a product to detangle your hair because you have some really gnarly knots in there. So when I did this one, I realized that uh, when it comes to detangling, it was a lot easier for this one. What I mean by that is to run the comb through the knots, it was much easier with this product than with this one. But then once you detangled your hair, for some reason the comb was gliding through a lot easier with this one. So to initially take out the knots, it was easier with this. To actually comb your hair through, it was this one. I don't know what to tell you there, but yeah. And this one smells better right off the bat. But I did notice, you know, before recording here, I went ahead and I smelled her hair and, you know, this has already been like a full 24 hours after the fact and her hair still smells of this one. I don't really smell the Garnier Fructis anymore. I mean, that's not a big deal. You could just spray your hair again, kind of comb it through one more time and you'll get the fragrance of it if fragrance is what you're looking for. Um, but this one, I could still smell it. Now, when it comes to blow drying your hair, so, after you've combed your hair and you start to rough dry your hair and then you want to go through it with a brush, uh, there was slight resistance with this one. Um, I don't know, it just seemed like the hair was a little bit rougher. I, I'm, I'm not sure why if I was able to comb through it rather easily with this one, or I should say detangle it. With this one, the brush just went right through. It felt so smooth and so nice. I did not come across any knots. It, it just, it was a dream. It was such a dream to just blow dry with this one. Now, when it comes to the actual finish of the hair, uh, I would say that the hair looked shinier and healthier and much smoother with the Garnier Fructis. With the Fab Me, I don't know, it just seemed like there was a little bit more texture. It was slightly a little frizzy. The hair was a little more dull. You know, this is supposed to add shine as well, but it wasn't really there. So at the end of the day, it really just depends on what look you're going for. If you need your hair to feel a little thicker and, you know, just have more texture, then I would say go with the Fab Me leave-in treatment. If you're looking for your hair to be more sleek and shiny, just like it says right there, there, then I would definitely go with this one. Your hair will look, I wouldn't say thinner. It would just look smoother. If your hair is frizzy, then it looks like you have more hair. When your hair is smooth, it looks like you have less hair. So it really just depends on the look you're going for. But my experience with this one overall in general is that the hair is a little tougher to get through, especially doll head hair. You know, it's very rough, it's textured, it's not smooth at all whatsoever. And so I've always had a little tiny bit of trouble smoothing out the hair with this one. And with this one, I had no trouble at all. It just detangled easily. I was able to get the brush through and smooth out the hair faster. It blow dried a lot faster. 
So yeah, I would say this is the win for today. I would definitely pick this up if you can find it in your area or if you can order it online. It is on Amazon as well. Your Target, Walmart, I haven't been able to find it at CVS, but you know, Target and Walmart, that's pretty good. So this one, you can find it on Amazon or if you're a professional, you can find it only at Salon Centric. Well, that's it for today, guys. I thank you guys for tuning in and watching my video. Please hit that like and subscribe button so I know you guys are enjoying my channel. And while you're at it, go follow my Instagram page at Hair by Princess Sororas. And if you guys do all that, I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there, count your blessings, and keep it humble. Bye.